for our Takeout Tuesday this week. We're reading from Psalm 25, this beautiful psalm for God's guidance and God's deliverance. And read along with me. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul, my God, and you I trust. Do not let me put to shame. Do not let my enemies exult over me. Do not let those who wait for you be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you, I wait all day long. Be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and of your steadfast love, for they have been from old. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for your goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his decrees. <clears throat> Indeed, we pray for God's guidance um, for us as a nation this week and for us as a community. We're challenged individually and corporately by many challenges, and this week even by, again, mass shooting and gun violence. Uh, we say, don't remember our sins, Lord. Don't remember the sins of our youth, but lead us according to your steadfast love and your goodness. That's our prayer for us individually, for our communities, for our church, and for our nation. We pray that because, God, you are good and upright, and you instructed sinners in the way. So instruct us this week. Bless us now. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye now.